Newton's Laws, A Cartoon Journey, brought to you by Maxwell Llewellyn and Jake Greenstein. A note from the geniuses, uh, I mean creators, behind this project. We hope you enjoy our presentation on Newton's Laws. We apologize for any delay in providing you with this excellent work of art. Please distribute this cartoon as necessary in order to educate all the children of the future. Think of the children. Sincerely, Jake Greenstein and Maxwell Llewellyn. Characters. Enter Brian, a physics major currently in college arriving home to visit his family for the holidays. Enter Joey, Brian's whimsical younger brother who looks up to Brian as his role model. The two brothers have a penchant for mischief. Joey! Hey there, little guy! Hey, Brian! How's college doing, big bro? Nothing special. College life! Must be a lot of work. Physics major sounds really hard. Nah, I could probably explain it to you. How? Well, physics is just applying the laws of how things work. They're the rules that control things you see every day. Here, check this out. See those kids over there playing football? Yeah. Well, that's a perfect example of Newton's second law. It's all about force. If you have more mass, you can generate more force. It looks like you should be able to generate plenty of force then. Nice freshman 15, Brian. See how the bigger guys are better at knocking people over? More mass means more force, and more people getting injured. Like that time you broke two of my ribs. I told you if you stood in front of my car, I'd hit you. But anyway, the second law also explains balanced and unbalanced forces. Huh? Balanced and unbalanced? Whether or not the opposite forces are equal. If those two football players are equally strong, they don't move each other. They both push, but nothing happens. It's because they both push equally hard. But if one is stronger, he pushes harder, and they move. Gotcha. Wait, but how come even when the bigger guy stops pushing, the little one keeps flying backwards? That has to do with Newton's first law. It says that once something starts moving, it won't stop unless something stops it. Like that time I bumped into you on top of the stairs. You mean that time you pushed me? Tomato, tomato. You kept rolling down the stairs until you hit the floor. That's because of Newton's first law. And I still have the scar to prove it. So if there wasn't something for me to hit at the bottom of the stairs, I would have kept rolling. Exactly. Our universe works because of how forces interact. You mean like on Star Wars? Because I can use the power of the force. No, Joey, not like Star Wars. You really need to get out more often. A force is a push or a pull in a certain direction. Each force has an equal and opposite force. Like the light side and the dark side of the force? No! It means if a force is applied in one direction, then another force is applied in the opposite direction. A bird flies by flapping its wings. They exert a force down on the air, while the air exerts a force up, making the bird fly. Gotcha! Like when I swim, I push the water back with my arms. The water pushes me forward since I push it. Not too complicated, eh? Pretty good for just after a fall like that. Let's just say I've given you plenty of experience thinking off your feet. So mom and dad pay all this money for you to learn how things push and pull? Of course not. I also learned the math behind it all. So what can you really use physics for? There's plenty of humane applications for physics like explosives, nuclear bombs, and fighter jets. You know, safe stuff. 
Excited to see mom and dad? Of course. Oh, it's my baby boy! How are you, Bubbala? Fine, mom. What did you boys do on the way home? Brian told me how he learns to knock things over and blow things up at college. You did what? Then 